Howdy folks, I got a little knife porn for you today. Uh, you think this one? Nah. That's just a point of reference what these knives look like. You all know them, this is tenacious. And uh, some of you older subscribers know that I actually do prefer the persistence over tenacious. Just because it's a uh, you know, smaller, more friendly size, not so scary and uh, especially it's not scary if you do little modifications to it like I do some amateur pimping pimpage and uh, some of you all the subscribers seen what I've done uh, with uh, tenacious and persistence they both were given as a gift so I promise myself never to do it again because it's uh, it's a nasty work and a lot of work and like tedious work so I, I thought I, I would never do it again, but I just couldn't resist, you know, wanting to learn more of a tough thumbs tricks and, uh, you know, his his pin pitch. I had to do it. And uh, here's the result. Um, Pyderco persistence with the file work. Let me get you some details see the file work on spine file work all around on the inside of the liners can we focus here also down here all around here trying to get mirror mirror finish ah, you can see it there pretty well it is very it is pretty shiny either mirror finish or uh, stone wash we'll see maybe I'll send it over to tough times to get the stone wash on it you see custom wave there nice elegant one although I tried to hit them as, as precise as I could spacing and uh, it's okay couldn't get this one so precise because of the wave I couldn't get my uh, grinding wheel there so you said it's a little smaller than it's supposed to be but that's minor detail trying to get rid of that china and uh, HCR 13 MOV here on the side but it's uh, it's pretty deep a laser edge so that's gonna be a tough one but I think yeah if I would go for stone wash that should disappear and again my second attempt on uh, kinda this pattern on the G10 Obviously, it's on the or done on the original scales that are very thin. So again, it's it's not as I would wish to do it, and I f I think I could do it much better if the scales were thicker. You know, this is kind of you see how thin they are, and I can't get the angles what I w would want to get. But I will be getting some G10 for this guy, and uh, he will get the whole another set of scale eventually I also changed the geometry here a little bit if you look it used to be same like on this one the handle I dropped it down to make it nice and curved and that also exposes more jumping here on the on the spine see normally it would start here and jumping would be hidden in the in there so I expose a little more of it about two, two, two more teeth here so overall I think it's pretty sweet you'll see pocket clip still the same positions I am thinking about doing something with the pocket clip too maybe maybe some file work like make it like cut out here 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 I'll see maybe I'll play with it it's hopefully it, yeah it should it should be all right it will be pretty nice now yep so tell me what you think guys about this little beauty i love it i really love it hope you like ho hope you guys like it too so take care stay safe and remember oh no 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 oh, some of you might ask if it's if it's sharp i don't know you tell me This is freaking scary sharp, of course, convex edge. So, 
scary, scary sharp. Ridiculously sharp. Oh. <laughs> Some paracord push cut. Like butter. Very nice edge. Edges mirror polished. I played with it on the on the fancy strap I got from a friend. A four stroke strap and it works well. It is really nice strap. So hope you guys like it. Take care, stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself. <laughs>